Welcome fourth graders. This year you will be learning all about California history from the Native Americans to the Spanish missionaries to all of the people who traveled from around the world in search for gold in the mid 1800s. In order for you to really understand what it was like for those early Californians, you will become important explorers. Everyone sit back and close your eyes as I take you back to the early 16th century in California a time when Native Americans inhabited the four regions of California, the valley, the mountains, the desert, and the coast. You and your classmates have just discovered this new territory, and your main task is to survive. All you have to start with is a stick in your hand and an incredible amount of land and resources that have yet to be discovered. The possibilities are endless. Be creative, don't be afraid to try new things, and share your discoveries with your classmates to help each other live and thrive on this beautiful land. We want everyone to be successful on this grand expedition, so leave no man or woman behind. If you're already an expert, I'm counting on you to become the leaders and the teachers of the group, so be prepared to share your knowledge. Good luck! I can't wait to see how you progress throughout the year. When I first tried the demo version of Minecraft, I seriously had my doubts about the game because the learner isn't given much direction to begin with. 15 out of 31 of our students play Minecraft. When I discovered that almost half my class plays this game, I knew that I had to dig deeper to find out why they love the game so much. With the help of my student Royce, I started to see how freedom, creativity, and low risk allowed for fearless exploration and very quick learning within the game. Yi states that teaching and learning is a matter of three things. Number one, the learner must be enticed to try even if he or she already has good grounds to be afraid to try. Even if the learner doesn't particularly like video games or feel confident in their abilities, Minecraft entices learners to try by offering different game modes to suit the different needs and abilities. Number two, the learner must be enticed to put in lots of effort even if he or she begins with little motivation to do so. In this game, as soon as the learner starts collecting and discovering new things, he or she is enticed to start wondering about what the resources can be used for and how it can help them progress in the game. Number three, the learner must achieve some meaningful success when he or she has expended this effort. Success in Minecraft comes from creating new things and discovering the best and most efficient ways to use resources. For example, can you plant a crop anywhere? Royce taught me that planting near water is always very smart and that if you have the right skills and knowledge, you can plant a crop in strange places like on the roof of your house. Success also comes in the form of achievements. Aldrich states, players want to impress each other with their creativity. If they did something unique or surprising, they want to show off. When one student learns how to complete a difficult task, it encourages others to want to learn that same task or a new, more difficult one that they can show off to their peers. Since the student's ultimate goal is to survive and learn as a team, there is no real losing and they are all encouraged to empower each other using their teamwork and collaboration skills. As the class progresses in the game, we will start to make meaningful connections with the early Californians. These students don't need another paper and pencil written report about the missions. What if the students could take a map of the California mission and create their own virtual missions in Minecraft? Then they can all truly be proud of their hard work and effort, just as the Spanish were when they had completed their beautiful and innovative chain of 21 missions in California.